step 11, panel functions. I'm on the network tab and I can click on any of our panels here. I have selected our Untumbra panel. I'm on the buttons tab of the Untumbra. In the left hand column here we have the blue icons. That is indicating that we have presets associated with all of our buttons at the moment. As we change the functions we will see those icons change. Let's configure our buttons to do something different. Okay, we'll start with button 1. Let's send the boardroom all channels to preset 1. So preset 1 will be 100%. The preset levels of course are stored on the load controllers. So whatever your levels that you have set in the preset editor tab for your areas is what action is going to occur. The fade rate is going to be the time from when you press the button to the time it takes to fade to 100%. You can change this to suit your requirements. Button 2. Let's make button 2 a channel level button. So a channel level button needs three fields defined as a minimum. The area, the channel that you want to control, and the level that you want that channel to go to. So let's send Office 3, let's send the wall lights to 80% using a channel level message. Button 3. Okay, I'm going to make button 3 a one touch button. That means that we'll have one button now doing two things and we're going to use short presses. I'm going to make Office 3 toggle between preset 1 and 4. I can toggle between whatever presets I like by selecting them in these fields, but for this demonstration I want the lights to turn on and off. OK, button 4. Let's make this a one touch 2, but in this case I'm going to have short presses and long presses. We have the options here in the drop down of one touch with ramp and one touch with program. Let's look at one touch with ramp. You can see now that we have some extra fields to define. I need to define the presets that I want to toggle between for my short presses. So we'll keep that at preset 1 and 4 which will be on and off. I have this extra field of a ramp rate. This means when I hold my finger on the button for a long press, the lights are going to ramp up. Once I've reached 100% and I do another long press, the lights are going to ramp down. You can see here in this field it will only ramp down to 10% because that's what I have specified in the min level field. So the fade time will be what it takes to toggle between preset 1 and 4 and the ramp rate is the speed it will take to ramp up and down with my long presses. Button 5, let's make this a ramp button. This simply ramps the area specified up or down depending on the sub function. And button 6, let's make this a task. We haven't talked about tasks yet, however if we are controlling anything greater than one area we'll need to write what we call a task. Once that is written, we will select the task number from the drop down and it will run on the button press. You can also notice here that the icons on the panel display have changed to give you visual feedback straight away what functions have been assigned to each button. Once you are familiar with these icons, you'll be able to take one look on the panel config and see straight away what function is associated to each button.